Hey guys, good morning, it's Olivia. I am so happy to be back here today. I'm vlogging and the baby's about to wake up from her first nap, but I wanted to jump on here before like the chaos of juggling her and everything begins. But it is Tuesday and my husband is home, working from home, and I've kind of always avoided making videos when he's home, but honestly, he's home a lot <laughs> now because of COVID. So uh, I'm just gonna bite the bullet and kind of break out of the feeling uncomfortable vlogging when he's home. Uh, today but it's a big day i yesterday afternoon i was uh just kind of on my computer during eleanor's second nap and i was ordering fabric for some new wire headbands that i'm going to be launching and i just decided to open my store back up just kind of on a whim it's been percolating in my brain for a couple weeks now and I've just wanted to move really slowly on reopening in that way and I just kind of felt like it was time and so I opened up my store and honestly within a few <laughs> minutes I got an order or two. I think people were just like hanging out on the website. I had posted another YouTube video that day and talked about my shop so I feel like people maybe were checking it out from that and then I posted kind of like a cryptic Instagram story. Uh, with the swipe up because now I have 10,000 followers on Instagram, uh, which is awesome. Thank you guys so much. I haven't really talked about it so much because I honestly um, was kind of like fluctuating between 9,999 and 10,000 for a while and now I have a good buffer and uh, that's really exciting. So I have the swipe up feature on Instagram now, which you guys know I've wanted for so, so long. I've been trying to hustle to get that done. But I kind of did like a cryptic swipe up uh, message yesterday and with like, I did something today and swipe up and I got a bunch of orders actually. I got like a good handful, which I just cannot express my gratitude enough for. I'm just like, I've been kind of filling orders under the table for people who have been DMing me on Instagram and also for wholesale. And I really do think that with that scrunchy launch, with Eleanor taking, you know, almost three hours of naps throughout the day, I really do have the time and the energy to fill orders and make videos, which is really, really, really cool. Uh, I'm just kind of waiting for Eleanor to wake up and then I'm going to show you some new products I got and then I might try to t fill some orders and I'll vlog that as well. So yay, yay for a little peek into the day. This room is a mess, so I think I'm gonna spend a minute and kind of tidy up. Oh, <laughs> my phone thought that I was saying Siri when I said that, that's really funny. Okay, but I'm gonna do that. Griffin's waking Eleanor up right now from her nap and look how cute this is on the monitor. Her arms are crazy. <laughs> He's singing to her, who's got ruffles? I put her in this new onesie before she took a nap because she spit all over the outfit that he put her in this morning. Oh my gosh, so sweet. I can't handle it. Then you got Ramona here. Hi, Moni. Got one big family going on. Okay, so I just nursed the baby and then Griffin made uh, us lunch. We had turkey sandwiches. Now I'm just gonna sneak in really fast and print out those orders and shipping labels that I was talking about. Sorry, the dog's barking at the baby. <laughs> She's so protective over her, it's so cute. But um, Griffin is working from home, as I said, but he also has meetings tonight till 7 p.m. And that means that he'll be working through Eleanor's bedtime. He's just kind of playing with her right now and just getting some like quality playtime in because he'll miss that kind of like window after he gets off work because of how his day is going. So I'm just kind of adjusting the desk. I can show you. Um, he has it set up for work from home right now. And then I am just gonna cop on to my Mac and print out those labels. So this is a very much like a, you know, covid day in the life of like both of us working from home ish me ish him fully and just kind of like bouncing back and forth with having an almost six month old and how that's kind of working uh it works well it's actually kind of the, one of the silver linings of covid is that we do have some flexibility in our days but it's also just 
overall bizarre because <laughs> Griffin has a very uh, technical lab based job and to work from home and stuff it's like he goes in some days and then works from other days and it's kind of like our routine is never really set in stone because it changes up pretty day to day which is totally fine but it's just in no, no day kind of is the same but you can roughly see here he has his um, headphones his work phone his mechanical keyboard for work his laptop his AirPods, which are essential, and then I'm just pulling out my stuff for my iMac, which is right here. That was really nice. Hi, baby girl. What's that? Is that a camera? Can you say hi? Uh, okay, so we just got back from that little stroll and I did all of the packaging and printing out of my labels. I'm gonna unbox really fast. It's really cool. Um, I've had this sitting around and wanted to do this unboxing for a while for you, but Love Every, which is a play mat that I use and love to death, they just, uh, they sent me uh, some of their products to unbox and review for you. I'm also going to show you uh, the playmat just because we are so obsessed and we ha we get the every two months subscription box from them. We pay already for them. Griffin's sister got us the playmat before Eleanor was born for her <laughs> off of a registry, and then we subscribe to the boxes. They give they give like developmental uh, boxes every two months with uh, all kinds of Montessori based toys. But I'll show you those and how we organize them. And she's ready to play. Look at her. She's like, let's go, mom. <laughs> I just washed the play mat. It's really easy just to stick in the wash on delicate and then I hang dry it. But I do that every little bit because it does get, uh, you know, spit up on and, you know, babyfied. And we have the dog and dog hair gets on it. So she's ready to go. My active little, little one. <laughs> but I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to unbox the things that they sent me, which you are gonna lose your noodle about. Okay, so look who is sitting up on their own. This is insane, she just started doing that. But you can see here, this is the Love Every, uh, you know, play mat frame that goes on, on top of the play mat. They have the toys, the balls, the rattle, and then these bins. Again, let's appreciate Eleanor sitting on her own. Look at you, you're so big, you're so good at sitting. This is where we keep all of the stuff for the, um, Love every box. This came in the four to five month thing. This did two. And some of these toys are from the box before. And I think this is actually five to six. So these are five to six. These ones came in the three to four month. But she loves them. This is one of her favorites. I'm gonna grab the mat. It's right here. And this is super easy. You just kind of uh, put it underneath and then it hooks on to the base here. As you can see, she was so excited to get on this mat. She loves it so much. And then this is part of our, like, our daily routine. Since she was pretty much born, uh, you can see I put these little cards in there. That one has a dog on it. She's obsessed with dogs. And this is like a little mirror so she can see herself. Um, this other mirror came on the boxes too, which is great. Look at you. Look how cute you are. Hey, Eleanor, what is this? We got some goodies to unbox. Excited? Okay, so as you can see here in this pile, we have three boxes and things from Love Every. You excited to unbox them, baby? Got some new toys coming your way. Literally, our days are just playing with Love Every toys. And like I said, I've spent quite a bit of money already on them. So when I got an email from Love Every saying they wanted to send us some toys, I was very excited because these were things that were already on my list. Uh, we pay out of pocket for the monthly subscriptions and this is just kind of like the extra add-ons and I was really excited to add them on. Okay, so the first thing is probably the most age appropriate for her right now and it actually corresponds with her playmat. 
which we love. What is this, Eleanor? <gasps> Whoa. So this, they're the set, called the sensory strands, and they basically go on one of the arms of this, and they have things from like a rattle to this cool crinkly paper, which she's obsessed with. You can see her face. She's excited. She loves it. Um, Ramona also it tortures her. And then there's another rattle. She loves all the different like textures. Right now she's so into fabric. Uh oh, there's a dog squeaker in there. Ramona's gonna go crazy. But let's just attach this to the arm of the playmat and see what it looks like. I'm gonna do it over here. Let's see, she's going to town. Oh, she's gonna love that. She's so into like different textures right now. Okay, so she got a little bit really excited about that. Let's, I just pulled her away from it. This is um, something that will be more useful when she can actually walk. But I think this will be so cute in her nursery. And I said to them that, here, hold it there, girl. I told them that we have a Boston Terrier. You guys have seen her Mona earlier in this video. But this is it's just too cute to pass up. <laughs> This is the, um, you can see here, it's a little one pulling it. But it's like a little pole dog and it is black and white like her dog, Ramona. Look it, it's a Moni. Woof, woof. It's a Moni. And so this is just like such a fun toy to play with and I cannot wait to, until she can actually pull it. I'm gonna have this on display, like I said, in her room, which I just think is so, so cute. I'm trying to figure out how this, it's all packaged really smart, which I love. But this like shoelace type thing is wrapped all around. Woohoo! What is this? One of the reasons I love Love Every is they really do think about everything. Like these ears make noise and the tail moves. So actually, I think she could get some entertainment out of here. Uh, so look at she's already playing with it, I'm pulling it. Is it a woof woof? Yeah, I think she will already like this will be really fun for her just like to play with and not. But it's so adorable. I love how all of their things they like are aesthetically really really cute, but they also you know have imaginative to play and also developmentally appropriate. Um, things to meet their, them where they are and like I said their play things are really perfect but that is too too cute then this this Ellie this is like Christmas for baby this is like a full-on Christmas present slash birthday present I'm so excited about this, but this is the block set. This is again one of those things that I would have been buying with my own money anyways. But when they reached out about it, I was so excited. And this, I know is already gonna be just stunning because all of their stuff is like, look at this is a bag you can put the pieces in and just like look at how cute that gingham pattern is. I love all of their design. It's just so fantastic. And this piece, ugh, it smells good. Uh, it says, the on the branding, it says playtime essentials with just the right amount of nerdy. And that is my motto of life. It's like everything, it looks good, but also super nerdy. But this says build on it. It comes in this really well-engineered box. Um, this is going to be so wonderful. She's already, like I said, so curious. And I think this will meet her where she is and then also grow with her but the lid comes off and inside of here it has a guide which is one of the things I love the most about Love Every is all the literature they have and the information it's really well put together and explained and this is no exception it tells you what's in here and then it tells you kind of how to go with it and then they also talk about the subscription boxes which we have there but this has everything from beautifully cover colored uh, blocks to like little um, you know, abstract people, which I love. 
uh, different sizes, different colors, you can build things. This is the type of childhood things that I am so excited about just as a mom. Uh, I loved imaginative play stuff when I was a kid and this is just gorgeous. Like, look at the inside of this, look at all the colors. Oh, we're gonna have fun, Eleanor. Huh. Anyways, I'm just so excited. I wanted to share with you Love Every and everything about them. I'm sure it will come up more and more in my videos. I think every single vlog I've done with Eleanor since the beginning has featured her playmat just because that's where we have ended up so many times. But yeah, that's my little PSA in the middle of this video. But ugh, it's just so, so cute. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I think I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna probably fill those orders. I was just printing all the things for. <laughs> She's making crazy noises when she takes her second nap. I might also try to do some exercise. Uh, my husband and I were talking about that on the walk that I've been really missing yoga and I might do that during that week window, that nap too. But for this last little bit of this week window with her, we're stretching them to like three hours, which is great, but it definitely, she starts to get a little cranky. She's also like full on teething right now. She has two little teeth popping up on the bottom. Uh, so I'm, she's kind of getting overcooked. So I wanna, as you can hear, I wanna hop off and focus on her. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Go check out Love Every if you have a baby that gets coming or a baby currently or a loved one that's having a baby. Their products are just fantastic and they're so educational. Um, also, go check out my message. It's back open. I'm so excited. I have some new things coming down the pipeline. <laughs> and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.